how to breathe when you're paddling. This stuff is so important. If you do it wrong, you could be blowing your endurance and getting tired way faster than you need to. As well, it could lead to panic or just not catching that wave of the day, wave of the year, wave of your life even. So I'm gonna give you three tips. Two of them are breathing mechanics, which uh, you can fix right away. And the other one is something I call breathing rhythm, which takes a bit more time, but when you get it, um, the benefits are massive. So it's a little more advanced, but worth it. And when you get the mechanic part right, that stuff will come eventually. So the important part about this is just to make the most out of it. And the best way to fix your breathing is in training on home at land. Very first tip is a proper breathing pattern. So if I tell you to take a giant deep breath right now and you get taller and your chest puffs out, there's a, uh, there's a chance or 99% chance that you have inverted breathing, which is chest breathing. All that means is you're not taking a full belly breath, so you're only filling your lungs less than the full amount, let's say. And this becomes even more aggravated when you're paddling because you're laying on your board with that pressure on your diaphragm. Now there's a performance institute in uh, Southern California where they rehab this and they've done thousands of people and they say that it takes 3,500 to 5,000 conscious, conscious repetitions in order to fix this. So that means that um, inverted breathing is subconscious, so you do it without thinking about it. So that means conscious repetition means you gotta take it out of the subconscious into the conscious, do those repetitions, fix it, and then put it back in the subconscious and then you'll have it forever. The way to do this is through training. Um, and I'll combine it with the second tip. So I'll tell you the second tip before I teach you the fix. The second tip is connecting, uh, is to do with breathing mechanics, is connecting your breath to your movement. So a good rule of thumb is if you are getting, like so you say you're doing a squat. So if you're coming down on the squat, getting lower and closer to the fetal position, you exhale. When you're getting bigger, away from the fetal position, you inhale. Now I want you to think about when you add power to that thing. So if you were throwing a ball, you would exhale, right? Because that's your power. If you tried to throw a ball and inhale, it feels super, super weird. You'd have half the power. So that goes into paddling because you, you, you can't, have a power exhale on both, because it'd just be, be hyperventilating, it'd be, it'd be, it would be way too um, fast of a rhythm. So you gotta pick a side. So I call this weak side breathing. So you do the power breath to exhale on your weak arm. So I'm right-handed, so my left hand is my weak arm. So I exhale on this, inhale on this. And that's just for paddling, right? So when you're paddling out, super, super simple. And the way to make sure you're doing this right, again, is through repetition. So to fix the breathing pattern, the inverted breathing, and to lock in your uh, weak side breathing, you do it through training. So if you do the paddle training with the power bands, all that, that's when you get your repetitions, right? So like we talked about, it takes 3,500 to 5,000 conscious repetitions to fix, rewire something in your subconscious. Do that in your training. That's where it's gonna, gonna be done. In just a few weeks, if you are focusing on your breathing properly while you're doing your training, you're gonna re 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 rewire that super quickly. So you'll fix your inverted breathing, you'll be taking full lungs full of air while you're paddling out, laying belly down. And that, so if you have inverted breathing and you're, and you're breathing through your chest like this, you are already at a huge deficit. So if you fix that, you instantly have about double the amount of oxygen to use in your muscles, that's huge. So if you look here, if you look at my back, you can see it rising up, right? That's how it should look. And then the weak side breathing, exhale. And the third tip is rhythm. So you want to have the, the right tempo in your paddle strokes and your breath will match it because you're linking your breath to your movement. So it's inhale, exhale at a steady pace, but you want to make sure that you're getting to the top of your breath and the bottom of your breath. You want to exhale fully, inhale fully. So you don't want to be shallow breathing, you want to be deep breathing, but it won't be spiked, right? It won't be up. It'll look like this. I'm doing the travel stroke. Now the great part about this is when your movement has a rhythm and your breath has a rhythm, it'll start to match the ocean because the ocean has a rhythm too, depending on the swell, between on the tide and all that stuff. But you you will you will start having 
your paddle strokes matching your duck dives. And if you've ever done any long distance running and you get into a rhythm and you don't even think about it and you don't even really realize that you're exerting yourself, you're just kind of in the zone, you can get to that place when you focus on breathing and movement together. And that's the more advanced side. And that comes with practice in the gym, at home, and then applying it in the water too. And that's the hugest part. So like I say, with long distance running, when you get in the zone and you don't even realize you're exerting yourself, how would that feel out in the water when you're trying to get past the break on a heavy day and you don't even realize you're exerting yourself because you get into that rhythm. So that's super important and it can't, you can't get there without either surfing every single day, which is tough if you have a job and kids or whatever, or you can get there by focusing on your training and the breath and all that stuff. So if you think surfing is important and if you think catching lots of great waves is important, I'd like to let you try my uh, weaponized breath, my breathing system, at home breath training system for free. It has all this kind of stuff. It'll teach you exactly the fundamentals um, of the breathing mechanics, which is huge. That'll give you the biggest boost very fast. But the second side of it is the low oxygen training. So that's adapting your body to low oxygen to so become super efficient with oxygen, increase your breath hold time like crazy, and you can catch better swells. And the biggest part of that, it'll help you keep, keep you safe. So it's about respect for the ocean. Number two, it helps catch you better waves because you'll have that oxygen uh, efficiency. So that's great stuff. If you wanna try my weaponized breast system for free, go through the whole system without paying anything, send me a DM and I'll send you the link to the free trial. Thanks for watching.